Good evening and welcome. I'm Rodney Chestwick. Today, in our series by Keith Burns featuring Kansas City history, we explore what started out as a shanty horse town and rose to prominence as a western powerhouse of debauchery. Kansas City Power and Light. So join me as together we travel through time. In Kansas City, life was just beginning. People were having money for the first time in their lives, and land, and money that they found on their land. But not everything was good. There was also an underbelly of horrible oppression. A time where people were murdered and excluded because of who they were. Sweat on my bed. But we're not going to talk about that. It's too much of a downer. Back in Kansas City, the Power and Light District was becoming the center metropolitan experience where you could throw change at whores and shoot the Chinese. This found letter by Betsy Maxingale, daughter of douchebag Baron Maxingale, sheds light on the origins of Kansas City's Power and Light District. Dear Bartholomew, I, Betsy Massengill, daughter of Rutherford Massengill, founder and executive of the Massengill industry, am more than delighted by your proposal of betrothment. Father says this will be a great opportunity for two star-struck lovers. You being the handsome young executive of the Johnson Hardware Company and our Massengill feminine toiletry and potpourri empire will join in one social and civic opportunity as the new coal and gas district is built in our honor. BRB. OMG, Father was totally telling me to get off the parchment and pen again. He thinks I spend entirely too much time on here. As I was saying, the new institute will enable hard-working young men and women to enjoy libations and merriment like never before. Father predicts great things as tools and douchebags will reign supreme in downtown Kansas City. Fashion was a big part of Kansas City power and light. Chaz Brosif was the first man to pop his collar. But the dress code would become something that would tear this community apart. Woke up this morning in LAX with my dream and a cardigan. Whoa, 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 you can't come in here. No. I, I'm uh, actually no. already in. Uh, yeah, one yeah, more I know you're in. That's why I came over. Listen, you are not allowed in here. It's no, no. Oh, uh, well, uh, actually, just, I got my money. I'm ready to go. I just need a martini. Uh, and actually, a barkeep. Um, uh, yeah, don't talk to the barkeep. He's not here right now. You have to go. We have a uh, uh, dress code. We got a dress code here. Uh, no, uh, you, you don't have you're a shirt actually. On. You don't have a shirt on. You're actually not wearing a shirt either, so I uh, uh, still don't uh, quite understand the problem. No, uh, not that. Little. That was yesterday. Now, you. Uh, um, hmm. No chains. Strict no chains policy. Sorry, no. bro. No chains. No, no chains. No chains. No. Nope. Mm. Sorry. Yeah! Woo! Oh my god! This place is awesome! Woo! Wow! Hey bro! That is a killer chain, bro! Oh my god! I just knocked over a beer! Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm frankly a, a, a tad bit uh, just confused here. A little, yeah. uh, Don't there. worry. I wrapped my head around that yeah. guy was clearly no. where no he was sir yeah I, please don't interrupt sir he was 
clearly wearing a chain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So again, not it, sure the problem uh, here. Uh, kind of problem. confused. Uh, Yeah, no change. You're gonna have to leave. No change. Sorry. No change. Yeah! Oh my God, you hate a bomb! Oh my God, this is the greatest place ever! Yeah, a bomb! Yeah, a bomb! Woo! <laughs> Honestly, never had a problem with my chain before. Thank you for joining us this evening as we delved into the past of Kansas City's historic Power and Light District. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Join us next week as we visit Kansas City, the time when malls roamed. I'm Rodney Cheswick. I'll see you in the future. To discuss the past.